It's actually started now. Somebody else comes in after we've begun, then they may not go into class. See how quickly you can zip them by there, tell them to try and quietly while we're having this class. Before we begin, I want to have a word of prayer, and I want each one of you to pray after me. Folks, uh, dear Heavenly Father, dear Heavenly Father, thank you for being here this morning. Thank you for sending your Son Jesus to the earth and to our hearts. Lord, we open our hearts. We invite you in. We want our hearts to be your home. Lord, we know that you are our strength. Help us, Lord Jesus, to see how you're here right now and how you're with us always. Help us to open our hearts and minds so that we not only See you sometimes, but see you all the time. We ask for your spirit to fill our hearts. Make us our strongest. Make us our best. In every single way, help us to honor you. And as we accomplish things, we look forward to laying them at your feet. Strengthen us now, dear Father, we pray. In the name of Jesus. Yoi! Sagarachi! Dodge Kun! Seek perfection of character. Seek perfection of character. Be thankful. Be thankful. Endeavor. Endeavor. Respect others. Respect others. Refrain from violent behavior. Show me, right? Sense me, right? Okay, we begin. You have in front of you a piece of paper. Pick it up. I'll you know. You see a, a funny looking ball of light in your old sensei, right? Uh, I had been in the woods since before daylight, and it was a morning where I felt unusually strong, where I felt especially empowered, where I just felt full of energy and vitality. So I left the stand early and decided to go ahead and uh, feed and, and go to each one of my spots out in the woods and uh, check my cameras. For some time, I've been noticing that there's these orbs, round balls of light. Don't get me wrong. I understand the technology, but they say that this is entirely possible in the doings of the way that the photographs are processed, that it's a natural event. I also believe that it can be a very supernatural event. That's my personal opinion. But not always. Sometimes it's just a natural phenomenon. Having known all this, I've been thinking for some time that I wanted to get a picture of of one of these orbs on my camera, my woods camera. And I was thinking that this morning. Now the camera cannot read my mind, right? And I was flying through woods and I felt supernaturally carried, buoyed up, strengthened, empowered. Now let me tell you, when I was a child, 
a very young child, I had an imaginary playlist. I guess I couldn't see his name, so I called him Tuddy. Tuddy. I come to understand later in my life that I have a literal guardian angel who has his hands very full. And his name is Thaddeus. Don't ask me how I know that, but his name is Thaddeus. You can't ask me sometimes, right? Then I'll tell you. A gift from Jesus, one of the heavenly hosts that was assigned specifically to look after this guy who's always getting into something. Did you know that God's that interested in you that he commissions angels to look after you and to watch you on your way in life? Did you know that? Well, I'm here to tell you. So, I think sometimes these powerful beings can appear as an orb of light. I do. So having these dolls as I trotted through the woods, that's the picture that my field camera took. Okay. <laughs> and at the same time that I had those dolls, an orb of life that looked, doesn't it look very organized? Isn't it very interesting? Looks like a perfect circle, doesn't it? Yeah. And it's got design in it. There's it's not just one flat color. There's interesting things about it. And it looks like if I stop walking, you can carry me, doesn't it? Oh, you yeah. almost feel it going before me. Doesn't it look like that? You ever seen such a thing? I think it was given to me for a reason, and that's why I'm sharing it with you this morning. All right, get ready to paper until after class. You're going to put it to the side somewhere. Don't forget it. I want you to take a read. Do that you are. I remember when I first started crying, that having always been a believer in Christ, and I think a lot of grief back then, especially, not so much now these days. A lot of people said that it was all Easter and you shouldn't learn it, and it was not right. And I knew in my heart God had led me to it. Jesus was from the East. Jesus was an Eastern man. And some of the concepts are Eastern. Well, you know, if you're close to Christ, you can tell what's false from what's phony and what's true and what's good. You just listen to the Holy Spirit. He says that his sheep know his voice and they won't listen to the voice of another. So I carefully hearken to my voice. What I'm going to be sharing with you this morning is a spiritual concept that will dynamically change your karate. This is not going to get so weird that you can't apply this to your life. This is getting ready to get really concrete. Close? Close. Now, you have a spot on the floor. You see it? It's got your name on it. It says price, and then under it says less, because you are priceless. God cares about you so much that this same energy that was pulling me through the woods that morning is here with you right now. You've got your own or, if you will. You've got your own source of strength. And if God wants it to flow through you like a waterfall, there's a scripture that talks about his spirit coming through us like a river of life. Us, I was taught from the very beginning in the martial arts that if I ever got any good, I would let it flow. I would let it flow. Some of you have known me long enough. You've seen me do some amazing things from time to time. <laughs> They're not me. They are me. They come through me. Us believe that God wants us to be conduit. Here you know I'll come back to you if I don't give you an answer. What's conduit? That's all right. What's conduit? What's conduit? What's conduit? I don't know. I like this. What's conduit? A uh, way to transfer energy. Mm, yeah. Yeah. That's the definition of conduit. A way to transfer energy. <laughs> Basically, it's used to encompass, so like wires, you run wires through to protect them, to guide them in the direction. To guide them. To 
got uh, now knows conducted conducts what electricity or power water water power <laughs> it moves energy us us it transfers I think that's what it is. transfers energy. God wants us to be a conduit. He wants to be able to send his messages, his strength, his energy. I was going to do this here. He wants to take that power that's his. Hey! Did I touch you? Why? Because he's very light touch. Very light touch. Why did you feel it? Because of the energy. Yeah. With it. And the more I participate in letting that energy flow, you can when I do that, and I'm really receptive and I'm really listening, and I'm really flowing, that energy will go right through you. Suppose. So what I'm trying to say is this is not just some hokey weird stuff. It might take you the rest of your life to learn it because there's principles that you have to learn directly. Close? Close. Now, this spot on the floor that says that you're priceless represents wherever you're at in life, whatever you're doing, wherever you're going, that's it. That's your priceless spot. That's the spot you own for that second. In order for karate to flow, we need to own that spot. And as we submit to Christ, we need to let it own us so that we can be conduit. Why? Because you're not able to do what you're not doing. Anymore. You're not willing to do that anymore. We need a contact point. Where is our contact point? For the energy to flow. Where is our contact point? For the energy to flow. Ground circle. Yes. There it is. There's my priceless moment right now. Oops. So if the energy is going to flow. You know that ball that you just saw? Oh, we're going to do an exercise. All right. Keep me on time. What time is it? So the first exercise is, now look, if you don't buy this, just go ahead and sit down now. If you're not with us, you're not with us. Is there anybody that's not with us? Everybody's with me. You know, a little bit of a little bit of disbelief can spoil a whole lot of faith. Us, us. So we want to be pure in our faith. Us, us. undiluted. Us. us. We're gonna let that energy flow. In the, you know, the first thing you get sometimes, you know, you use condom. My dad was an electrician. And he'd take this pipe. Guess what they, they put the, the wires through it. And this pipe that the electric wire would go through, what do they call it? You should know. We don't spend 10 minutes talking about it. It's conduit. Daddy used to go buy the conduit, put the wires through it. Now, and sometimes he'd keep the conduit outside and hornets or bugs or other things <coughs> would build a hole in the conduit. So what's the first thing he had to do before he could use the conduit? Ah. So we want to be a clean receptacle. We want to have everything cleansed out so that it can flow through. Us. Us. Now, that's why I said, I, you know, so if there was somebody said in here, no, I don't believe that. I want them to sit down and get out of the way. So the one of us that do believe can receive. Us. Us. We don't want that clutter. We don't want that debris. We don't want that filth hindering God's perfect love. Us. Us. Sometimes you have to sense it. And I can feel the word. And, it's, and you have mercy and love for that person and hopefully you get a chance to bring them back around, but don't let unbelief spoil your faith. Us? Us. All right. So we're going to start. I want you to picture your own ball of energy. Your own orb of light from the Lord Jesus Christ. None of it. 
There's lots of life. We don't want just any life. We want God's life for us. Us? Us. I want you to collect that energy from the floor, from the ground, from your spot where you're rooted right now. God needs for you to be here. This is your spot this morning. I want you to see yourself gathering it. Now, as you gather it, you're going to put it in the conduit, right? How do you do that? Do we, when, I take, when I take this phone and I want it to work and it's about out of power, how do I make sure to get power into that phone? Yes. Charge it. How do I charge it? You plug it in. Plug it in, right? How do I plug in? Yeah, where? Where is the outlet where we plug in? The Motion is the reason we're practicing a physical motion is because karate is a physical motion. Use your arms, pull it up, feel draw energy in, feel it with your physical motion, feel the energy coming into your being. Whenever you're doing your karate, and I'm in between a moment, and I got a second, what do I do? What did I just do? I moved in. I brought in the energy us, before I bring it out. Us. So we're continually energizing. Do you get that? Us. We see we plug in, right? How often do we plug in? I just told you. All the time. All the time. Yeah, but how? Breathing. In. Breathing. Breathing. Where does this energy go, by the way? Where is your life? Where is your life? Who's your life? Right here, right now, sir. Physically, where is Who's your life? Core. All of you. So, can you use all of you? Can you generate life from all of you? No. Where is it? Screw your face. It starts here. 
How does it circulate around you? How does the power circulate around you? Your being. That's what's bothering me so much about this car on your right. How does it get around me? How does the power get around me? Let's just talk real mechanics. How does life flow through your body? Blood. Us. Us. Breath and blood. Us. And then your body does its wonderful miracle that spreads it all over you. Us, where's the oxygen after it goes out of your lungs? In your body. Because it goes into your blood. Us. So where's the life? In your breath. In your blood. Us. Power. That's why it's so important for Jesus to shed his precious blood. Where's the life? All right, I'm teaching the teacher just some heavy stuff. Let's get back into the physics. All right, we're pulling it in. Breathe into the nose, pull it up. Out. Into the nose. I meant to do something I forgot. I wanted you guys to give me a raw punch before we start. Everybody give me a quick punch or two. About uh, 10. Give me 10, hard as you can go. All the power you got. Go. So pull in. Now, when you brought in the light and you pushed out the dark, Let's 
Some of you from time to time have wondered why there's a car guy with you. Have you ever heard these concepts anywhere before? Maybe I stumbled onto them or was showing us. That's why there's a car guy with you. I believe I had something to share. Once you learn this, you won't need me to teach you anything. You'll practice it on your own, and it'll become your own. Us. But to get it in the first place, I believe that's what God put me here for. Us. All right, back to our training. So we got you. Okay. Okay. Pull the power up from the floor. Get rooted. Get grounded. Feel that you're plugged in. Bring it into your being. And then when you come out with it, breathe out from the ground. Again. Two. Three. to breathe in and breathe out and you're going to strike me in the abdomen. Okay, ready? Go! Ah, come on, give me something. Go! Ah, come on! Stay out here, Amy. Do back. Ah, ah, come on, give me what you got. Somebody give me some more. Come on. to other parts of my body. Did you know that? I can make my exterior stronger through that technique. You can hit me and I had a guy one time swung a ball bat at me. I grabbed it. Us. He was having to swing it and trying to move it. I was plugged in. Us. Us. I was plugged in. What do you think he was able to do with that ball bat? You know what he did? I think I like you after all. I'm sorry. <laughs> What's he? <laughs> okay, now we're going to replace. That's very important that you understand. You're taking that full cavity of air, that full blessing of energy, and now you're going to discharge it. Well, this is like the positive current coming in. Oh. There's some parallel with the DNA with the positive and negative. The body works that way. That's why the blood flows. That's why so many things in our life. We take the positive in, we get rid of the negative. Oh. You take the positive in here and yeah. Okay. You know, it's like the man and the children of Israel. They took in this first blessing every day. Could they store it? They had to take in the fresh blessing every day. Us. They couldn't keep it, right? You got to discharge it. Us. You take in the energy, discharge the energy. Take in the energy, discharge the energy. Take in the energy, discharge the energy. Take in the manna, eliminate the manna. Take in the manna, eliminate the manna. Now, so here I am, I take in the energy. Hey! I did it. Was. 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 Now, we're going to start putting punches in this. But we're not just putting any punches. I will want you to do the draw. Do the draw. Hey! Let it flow. Give me a 
that right punch. Give me a left punch. But you just take your own time. I want you to feel that energy in the punch. Concept. Different striking tool. Us. 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 Same idea. Energy in, kick out. Us. Us. Energy in, kick out. Start. Uh, you don't have to. This is more about building the energy than it is. Break it up. Let it be your Sometimes I fuss at you because I'll see you do a technique like this. Why does that bother you? What was wrong? Why does it bother me if I see you do a technique like that? Not really good ground. Why is that why is that such a bother? Well, you can't move the arm. What you always tell me. Yeah. You know, I'm not plugged in good. Those, if I'm going to put that power into my target, then I got to be plugged in good. Plus, so I'm going to take that power, and this is also good showing kind of good linear training, into my target, and I got to practice that rootedness. Plus, I got to practice that stance. And if I'm up here, instead of the power going into him, the power's going to go in this spring. Us. Us. It's like an energy absorber. Us. Us. And if there's anything that comes back to me, I want it to be met with irresistible power. Us. Us. Power comes Us. up, can only go one way. Us. Us. You can feel that. Us. Get you in the palm. Okay. Get you in the palm at your own size. You're helping me, coach. Get you to pull at your own size. Practice pulling the power in with your fingertips. 
God was not in a hurry. The object is to practice the rootedness, practice the flood, and be your opponent. Concept, some mental and with the physical. Us, well, we can bring it together. Us, well, we got five minutes. Line this class up. Let's get the power of this practice. Sweat producing applications. Us, one line. No, no, keep going. Well, I'm going to lose something. Huh? From your current position, we're first going to practice Jodon face strikes. Us. Us. Remember, we're pulling up from the ground from our rooted stance. I don't want y'all too wide, and I don't want you too narrow. I want your feet directly below your shoulders here. That way I know you're in a proper yoy position. Us. Us. Have one hand out, pull from the ground. One, two, three, four, five, six, six, seven, eight. Y'all watch. I'm taking my chamber hand and I'm pulling up from the ground. One. Four. Four. Hey. All right. From the 
Hand was out. Pick the opposing leg, which should be your left leg. Push. Plus. Now, again, pull from the ground up. One. Hand out. Okay. Pull from the ground up. Two. Hand. Three. Pull from the ground up. Three. Hand. Pull from the ground up. Four. Hand. Pull up from the ground up. Five. Chia. Hand. You need to get more of this. I'll give you the fast. All they got. Indeed. Plug in. Give me 10. Uh, without without any injuries, no injuries. 10 as hard as you've got. If anybody's cold drinking, we'll do 10 more. I want 10 as hard as you got. Put right. right. in the power. Three. One. Three. Nice. Two. Three. Nice. Three. Nice. Three. Nice. Four.